Safi ya bwana shukrani za dhati zikufikie popote pale unaazidi kufuatilia double update mimi naitwa Mr Double J sijabadilisha location bwana ukiingia hapa plus 254 Kenya utanipata natamani kujua na wewe unanifuatilia kutoka nchi gani bwana usisahau kama kawiz ambacho huwa tutafanya hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments tunaekea tu bendera uh, za nchi zetu alafu inakuwa Uh, rahis kabisa mtu kujua nani ana represent double updates akiwa sehemu gani right now nina issues mbili muhimu kabisa ambazo inabidi tuzigusie na issue ya kwanza na mhusu ligadhi ya shagwa siku jana kama ulikuwa makini au kama ulifuatilia speech yake kuna propaganda fani kama alijaribu kuwauzia watu kwamba kwenye uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022 eti Raila Molodinga alitaka au aliomba kumhonga chebukati na bilioni moja ili amtangaze um, awe mshindi but mimi nishai kuambia kwamba kama kuna kitu ambacho siwezi nikatamani kuona ni mtu kusema kitu ambacho hakiwezekani okay sawa tuseme inawezekana sasa wacha nikurudishe nyuma kidogo wewe unafikiria kipindi ambacho tunapiga kura ningekuja kwenye eh, nyumba yako tuseme kwa mfano eh <laughs> hapa ni Kenya kwanza hapa ni azimio Afu nikuulize kwa hizi timu mbili nani mnafikiria angemlipa Chebukati au ni timu gani ambayo ingemlipa kabisa Chebukati? Ansa najua hata hujaniambia lakini I'm very sure Kenya kwanza walikuwa position nzuri kabisa ya kumlipa nani Chebukati kwa sababu angalia support ambayo alikuwa nayo Raila Molodinga. Kama kuna <laughs> kama kuna muda ambao uh, the people's president Raila Molodinga alikuwa sure kabisa kwamba Yaani this time round ni mimi nashinda ilikuwa ni mwaka na mbili. So mimi tatizo langu ni kuona mtu anaendeleza uh, propaganda ambayo kwa kweli hatu ukiangalia halina kichwa, halina miguu, haieleweki eleweki. So hivi ndo alizungumza siku ya jana regard ya shabu. Utaniambia kama na wewe kubaliana naye au haukubaliani naye. Nini? Nikumfukuza. Lakini tunasema hapa kwetu wamekaribishwa akuje tufanye kazi na yeye. Kwa hivyo mimi sitaki nipitishe kutoka hapo your excellency sisi ni kusema vile askofu amesema pale bombers kulikuwa na mademons silikuwa zimejaa hapo ingine ile ya pepe saba ingine ya mkia tatu Mwenyezi Mungu akatusaidia na pale bombers kulikuwa mbaya watu walikuwa wametumwa pale wa muhonge chebukati na shilingi bilioni moja atiyatangaza yule jamaa akakataa akatumiwa wakubwa ya jeshi ya polisi kumtisha akasimama kidete na Mungu akamuguza akasimama kidete kwa sababu Kenya ingechomeka kutoka hapo wale maofisa ya GSU wakiongozwa na kamanda yao Mungu akaguza hao wakasema wataki Kenya ichomeke na huyu rais wetu kwa sababu ni shujaa. Alikuwa ameambiwa atiende akae pahali, atiangoje ataitwa. Akasema hapana wewe, atutukae pahali tungoje. Akasema tuende huko. Akakuja na mama Recho na Pastor Dokas, magoti wakaomba mpaka ile demons yote ikaondoka akatangazwa kama mshindi. Kwa hivyo rais wetu kazi ikivungua tutakaa chini kuandika kitabu ya hii vile William Ruto alikuwa rais wa Kenya kwa sababu is an interesting book kuna mambo mengi tutaeleza vile maneno ilikuwa mkitaka tuandike hiyo kitabu it is a book that must be written so that Kenyans can know the journey of transforming Kenya i think bwana mtu anatakiwa kumwambia tu naibu rais kwamba hapana hicho kitu ambacho wewe unakizungumza it's it's not true and kama ni ukweli basi tuambie huyu ni nani alitumwa na hii bilioni moja kwa sababu amueleweki Ikuaje mimi sasa niende kwa Chebukati Bomas. Tuniseme na mrepresent Raila Odinga. Niende na bilioni moja kule Bomas. Alafu nikifika Bomas, bilioni moja yangu inakataliwa. Alafu bado naenda nasema oh hapa imekuwa uh, scene of crime. After na oh siju yazimio yenyewe siju katuma siju mapolisi. Unanelewa? So hapa kuna vitu vitatu by the way and wacha ni kuchanue leo pale bomas we, akina william samoruto wanasema cha kwanza wali eti azimio unajua akisema azimio ni raila eti raila alitume bilioni moja ili chebukati apewe ya pili 
Huyu Raila mmoja alituma maafisa wa polisi wakamzuia Rigathi Gash I mean wakamzuia Chebukati asitangaze matokeo. Unanipata? Cha tatu yule eh, yule ambaye alikuwa ni chief agent kama sijakosea wazimio la umoja mnakumbuka vizuri uh, kipindi ambacho vurugu fulani kama lilitokea pale ndani. Kana anasema kwamba no hapa kumechafuka. Hapa ni kubaya kabisa. So unaona eh? So nashindwa kuelewa E, tumepeleka bilioni moja imekataliwa. Tumepeleka maafisa hii. Ah! Tena nani yule chief agent wa Zimio anasema hapa kumegeuka uh, scene of crime. So which is which? Ni gani gani ndo gani? Hicho ndo kitu ambacho mimi natamani kujua. Okay, tuangalie hata tu, generally tu tuangalie process nzima. Ku, tukianza kwenye kupiga kura mpaka hapa tunakuja kumalizia kuhesabu. Ni upande gani kulikuwa na matukio ya ajabu ajabu ya issues juu yao ballot papers juu marks juu wapi juu Gladys Sholei juu ashaingia palace juu vurugu begi fulani limebebwa juu ni upande gani kulikuwa na vitu kama hivyo kama sio Kenya kwanza wewe umeona kabisa lakini hata nyinyi mkiangalia nani alikuwa na okay sawa acha niachane nayo ilishaisha hivyo watu wengine wanaweza kusema ilishaisha hivyo mimi lakini point yangu ni kwamba Rigathi Gashagwa anatakiwa kuacha issues nyingi tu porojo nyingi ambayo sisi wenyewe yani hatutaki kufikiria kwa sababu tu, tunapoendelea kufikiria that's that's zamanisha kwamba yani ina, ina to affect kinamna fulani yes kuna watu hawapendi by the way kusikiliza issues za uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022 kwa sababu wao ndo wanajua jinsi ilivyo waumiza so the more endelea kuizungumzia the more inaendelea kuingia kabisa kilini kuna watu hawakukula kwa sababu yeye nani matokeo ambayo mnani alitangaza chebukati alitangaza watu hawakukula kabisa siku mbili <laughs> i know mimi ni witness kuna watu kama niliwaona hivi kabisa live live kabisa hawezi hata hawezi waka move kabisa walishtuka so hiyo point yangu ni porojo tu tuache jamani tusongeni mbele na issue za kuzungumzia hata issue ya unga yani zungumzia vitu ambavyo vinatu affect directly sisi kama wananchi. I think hiyo ndio kitu kizuri ambacho anataka kufanya. Lakini kusema oh, Raila alipeleka bilioni moja. Tuambieni nani katuma na bilioni moja na mtuonyeshe Chebukati akikataa bilioni moja. Oh, una... bilioni moja alikataa. Tuambieni basi mtuonyeshe na video. Tuambieni ta... mpaka na majina ya watu ambao walipeleka bilioni moja. Nataka nikuchokeshe, nataka nikuchekeshe kidogo hapa. Kuna issue ya pili inabidi tuzungumze. Kuna niga fulani hapa anaitwa anaitwa nani huyu jamaa? Eh, cha nitafute jina lake. Sio anaitwa Gulie ama sio anaitwa nani? Eh, Gulie. Ule si ndo wale marafiki wa nani? Wa Chebukati eh? Sa, gu, acha nikuchekeshe. Gulie anasema hivi. After the bombers announcement of the results, I recall going into Siberia, sio Siberia, sio huko ndo sio ndo kusema nini. In my own country together with Commissioner Moyabolu and CEO Hussein Marjan. Okay? I can't anelea kusema kwamba we went into hiding had to put off our phones leave them in bombers send away our security and we rode in at Toyota Noah to an unknown location our only con- contact with Kenya on the world uh, on the world was the TV just to check whether you were killing each other or you were celebrating hayo ni maneno ya gulie wewe ni gulie anaongea haya sasa acha ni acha nimalize tu mara moja So ikawa ameendelea kusema kwamba after three days of hiding we realized Kenya had moved on. We stated that we can no longer hide while reflecting on his six year tenure, he pointed out that he had done his work in accordance with his oath of office and did not have any apologies to make uh, to his naysayers. Okay. Wewe hauna nani? Hauna kitu cha kusema? Hauna nani? Hauna Hauna apology kwa sababu serikali mlisha peana sema ambapo mliambiwa mpeane au mlitaka kupeana. So ni sawa tu, haina noma tunawaelewa. Eh, yeah, Mungu ndo anajua ukweli, Mungu ndo anajua kitu ambacho kilitokea. So it's okay. Nataka niambie gulie kitu kimoja. Hapa Kenya kwanza msituda sisi watoto msitudanganye kwamba oh sijui tuliacha simu sijui tuli tuli tulifukuza security oh tulienda na noa mwache kutuimbia nyimbo ambazo sisi hatuwezi tukaelewa Kenya hii acha nikwambie ni kitu kimoja tukwani watu wangapi wapoteza maisha yao Kenya hii ukitaka kumalizwa unaweza kumalizwa whether upende usipende 
tumuona watu wengi sana wakipoteza maisha yao so issue ya kusema oh sijui mlikuwa mmejificha sijui mlikuwa mnajificha kwa sababu mlifikiria nani anaweza kawaua au oh, nani anaweza kawafu na ila anaweza kawaua <laughs> kuna mtu mwingine ambapo hata yaani kuna watu wengine hata ukizungumza kitu kuwahusu watu wanashangaa wana tu wana wanashinda wana kuelewa what's wrong with this person nini mbana huyu mtu bana hmm? nini mbana huyu mtu eti walijificha sijui yo hapa kenya mimi nawaambia bila uoga wakitaka kukumaliza watakumaliza whether unajificha au hujajificha wanakujua wanakuona sehemu ambapo umetoka wanajua kenya kuna uwezi jificha kenya kwani watu wangapi wamejaribu lakini wanauawa mwisho wa siku kenya wakitaka kukumaliza watakumaliza tu wengi tumeona wanamalizwa that's the truth so nyinyi kusema mlijificha kwanza nimeona nani chebukati anasema alijificha kwa nyumba sasa wewe unajificha kwa nyumba kwako kwani hawajui kwako wewe hawajui kwako usidani hawajui wanajua wangetaka kuwamaliza wangewamaliza lakini sio kitu chao ishwa kwenye sijui mtu akukumaliza yo raila ange uwa mtu kwa sababu eti mmemuibia kwani mmemuibia mara ngapi hajawahi kuwa mtu mwai ona kabisa raila na mpaka tu, tunaanza mwaka 2017 12 hajawahi kuua mtu sababu amepote mshaikuona wapi so kuna mambo mengine ambayo hamtakii kutuambia hamtakii kabisa kutuambia kwa sababu hivyo vitu ambavyo mnavizungumza ni vitu ambavyo haviwezekani si dani, na si, sioni hata yani sioni hata siku moja eti Raila anataka labda hata kuvuruga mtu fulani ama kumuua mtu fulani kwa sababu ambacho mimi naonaga Raila anapigania ni wananchi kwamba huu ndo ukweli ambao ulitokea and hivi ndio ilitakiwa kuenda. So inabidi mtupeleke hivi sio hivi. It's very simple. Sio issue ya kuuana. Kwenye kuuana tujui ni watu ambao wanauara lakini sio kwa Raila Molodinga. That's that's what I know. I don't think Unanelewa mtazamaji wangu. So ni hayo tu kwa sasa. Cha kwanza nimewaambia hapo naibu wa rais kidogo uh, chana na propaganda nyingi. Hakuna mtu ambaye alitumwa na bilioni moja bwana hii propaganda achana nayo kwanza. Sasa nyinyi hii bilioni moja alikuwa anapelekewa wapi na yeye mwenyewe alikuwa amejificha. Mnajichanganya hata mjielewi. Oh, tulimpelekea oh, Raila alimpelekea bilioni moja Chebukati. Chebukati mwenyewe alikuwa amejificha kwake. Yeye mwenyewe kwake anasema kuna mtu alienda. So hii bilioni moja alikuwa anapelekewa nani? Akina Abdigulie au Cherera. <laughs> Cheni kutupimanisha bana. Cheni kutupimanisha akili hapa. Maoni yako ni gani? Tupi hapo chini kwenye semi semu ya comment mtazamaji wangu lakini subscribe uh, that's kama hauja subscribe kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati lakini kwa wale ambao wanajiuliza wanaweza kani support vipi bwana kama unaweza kani support kazi yetu unaiona ina make sense hapo chini kwenye semu ya comments nambari yangu huwa si tupi mbali sana ipo hapo uh, ni cheki mimi nitashukuru sana but uh, mambo bado ni mengi sana tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata bye bye